So a 1 0 win for your side, what were your thoughts on the performance? Um, first off, very even, very even game. Um, I thought they gave it, they saved it up to us a little bit, to be fair. I thought the, the lad that played down the middle for them um, was a proper handful. The left winger was decent. Um, and they weren't playing like, like where they are in the league, like the league position. Um, second half, um, it was very one sided. Um, we've got to take our chances more. We've really got to take our chances. We had four or five good ones, probably another three or four half chances where we've got to, uh, you know, they've got, to go, they've got to go in and it kills the game, it sees the game off. Um, it's, it, it's a great result. It's a very good result after the couple that we've had. Um, the pitches, the pitch is, well, the pitch is shocking. The pitch is a disgrace. It's not, not a dig at the club at all because ours is a disgrace as well. Um, but it's difficult to play here, so I'm, I'm, I'm delighted with the result and I'm delighted with the performance for large periods of the game. Obviously, we had that call at the end that stopped it walking away with a point. Uh, what were your thoughts on the decision? Do you think it was the correct one? Um, I think the boys in there, well, I think we've got away with one big time, really. So the, boy, the boys, I think their they're lads as well are pretty intense about it. You can tell by the reaction, which usually uh, you, you can tell a lot by how, how the players react. Um, we probably deserved a bit of luck because we were, we're definitely the better side over the course of the game. But like I say, you put yourself in those positions when you, when you don't put the ball in the net. Um, Mitch had a couple of chances. Um, Jinx had a couple of chances. Uh, we, you, you know, across the board, we missed. We possibly fell to the wrong people. I mean, Pembo had a great chance. If it falls to anybody else, it probably goes in. Um, and yeah, they're the positions that you put yourself in when when you don't take your own chances. So we've got away with murder, to be fair, at the end. Um, but you, you know, you do earn your luck, and they work their asses off. So. The goal being disallowed means another clean sheet for your side. How um, relieving and uh, happy are you to get this clean sheet? Yeah, big time. I mean, we've. We're defending really um, pretty well. Obviously, the three the three mistakes that led to the goals against Frickley were, were disappointing. Um, you know, but Frickley got a lot of firepower up there that put you under pressure. Um, we didn't concede at Grantham. Uh, we didn't concede against uh, Loughborough. Um, we haven't conceded today, so we're defending pretty well. We're keeping the ball net well. Dave Ray didn't have a lot to do um, in terms of making <coughs> saves. He made one great save with his face. Um, you know, brave as hell, brilliant save, kept us in the game or kept us in the lead, should I say. Um, but yeah, they're defending really well. Bank was massive today. We missed Bank. Um, he let us down. We been getting sent off because we could have really done with him over the last two. But yeah, it's, it's you know very pleasing to have a clean sheet. And uh, we spoke in the last uh, post match about Craig Mitchell and his, how we've missed him up front. Uh, he's came back into uh, the fold and marked it with his 12th goal of the season. How important was his presence up front? Well, that's it. Um, you know, got scoring goals has been a problem, um, not just a little problem either, really, a massive problem. Um, he's the only player in the team that's scoring regularly. Um, I feel like it's only a matter of time um, before Jinky and Maka um, start scoring. Linny starts scoring a little bit more. Um, I thought Maka was absolutely outstanding, absolutely outstanding today. He covered every blade of grass. You know, he's running past the subs um, towards the end when he's, um, you know, when they've come on. Absolutely brilliant. What a player to have in your side. Gives you everything. Um, I thought he was our best player today and I feel like it's only a matter of time before he starts scoring more regularly. Um, but yeah, Mitch, brilliant again, works his, um, you know, works his socks off, so very pleased to have him back in the side. He's a massive player for us. Harry Holland's been a player that's featured pretty much in the second half uh, in the last few matches and he's pushed for a start and you've given him today. What would you thoughts on his full league debut? Yeah, Harry was really good, actually. Um, I thought he started to look a little bit leggy towards the end when we took him off, which is obviously why we put, uh, put Brownie on for him. But... Um, it was brilliant. Um, I really like him and Brownie. They both got massive futures. Um, Brownie has Brownie's been brilliant over a period of time. Um, but I thought potentially I've said it in there to him, so I'll say it here. A little bit of complacency maybe crept in over the last couple. So Harry deserves a chance because um, you know he's been knocking on the door for a while now. Um, I was a little bit uh, <laughs> felt a little bit for him when we got him and I saw the state of the pitch to be honest because he's, he's a footballer who wants to get the ball down and play. Um, but he's adapted really well, um, did everything we asked, hooked things on, um, competed really well and how old is he? 19, 20 year old. So we finished the game with three 20 year old kids on the pitch and they're all brilliant. So yeah, pleased. And uh, all this season works up, we've still failed to record back to back wins uh, in the league. Uh, we've got a gossip on Saturday. How do you approach that fixture to make sure to get that? Yeah, well, um, we've got we actually got Blossom twice um, in the in the next sort of 10, 15 days, I think, from when we play them. Um, so obviously the first one will be a, a chance to really put a statement, you know, sort of show them what we're about. Um, our home form has been really hit and miss, although we have picked up a little bit recently. We were good against Loughborough, very good against Cleethorpes. Um, so yeah, hoping we can, uh, as you say, get that uh, get that back to back win on the uh, on the board, and I think Market Drayton come who um, who were down there as well. So. Yeah, you know, it's 
it's hugely important that we get some consistency in the game because that's been lacking all season and it's uh, I feel like it's only a matter of time but it's you know it's easy to talk about and they've got to go and do it. Cheers guys. Cheers boys.